Greeting, this is Dr. Mike Yuan. In my previous video, I had uh, mentioned that I had had the opportunity to meet with Grandmaster Yang Shoujung, fourth generation patriarch of the Yang family Taiji Tren in Hong Kong on three separate occasions. Uh, and I had mentioned that the first uh, meeting at the age of about 24 was highly impactful on my life. Uh, in this video, I'd like to go a little further into that experience, uh, but uh, just to let you know that aside from just sharing an experience with you, um, th there's a game plan to all this, and that is uh, I really feel that uh, after watching for 36 years, the uh, level of Taiji Tren not having elevated uh, significantly, uh, even with the availability of Grandmaster Young's form on YouTube that's been on for well over 20 years, um, that uh, uh, there needs to be so, uh, an interface between uh, the average practice and under, average understanding of what Young Tai Chi is and the standard that Grandmaster Young and the three generations before him uh, held and represented. So uh, I thought that in this clip I could share uh, 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 what happened that first time so you get also a better understanding of me and uh, um, where I was at the time. And, and from that I think you'll understand the Young family a little bit more intimately as well. It was late morning when I first uh, arrived at the Da Xia, which is a apartment complex, but called a mansion, and uh, went up the elevator and uh, to this landing where there were probably about three, uh, four apartments, uh, found theirs uh, and the metal gate, security gate, and rang the doorbell. Uh, the door opened and Grandmaster Yang was standing there, and I had been uh, just uh, waiting for this moment with, with uh, uh, bated anticipation, uh, not really knowing, having any agenda or repertoire to uh, a rehearsed, uh, but except as my brother John Conroy said, pay attention to everything even the color socks he's wearing. So it's just to paint how, how much of a uh, fantasy I was uh, in meeting this legend, but he was a living legend. He was real, as it turned out. So I went in and, and sat uh, at their, their big uh, table, and uh, the uh, Mary, the second daughter, was there. She had taken time off from work to, to translate. Uh, and now in Hong Kong, they speak Cantonese. And Grandmaster uh, Yang's wife is Cantonese. But Grandmaster Yang is uh, a northerner, so he spoke Mandarin. Well, I spoke Mandarin, so I had no trouble speaking with him, but they, I don't think anyone knew that in advance. So they were so cordial, uh, finding out about who I was and, you know, um, uh, just, just a small talk and politeness. Uh, really, um, I felt so out of place because I was so young and hadn't didn't feel I had done very much in my life at the time and these were mature uh, not not to mention uh, world-class uh, family in terms of uh, Taiji Chuan fame remember uh, Yang Shoujong's father Yang Chengfu was the one responsible to really uh, popularize uh, Yang's Tai Chi in the world and now there's estimated 250 million Taiji practitioners, the vast majority being Yang style. So it was it was uh, his father who he had trained under. And, and uh, just a little bit of chronology here. Uh, Yang Chengfu uh, passed on at the age of 53 or so. Yang Shoujong was in his early 20s at the time. So he had uh, well over a decade of private instruction. Uh, from his father that, that none of the other siblings who came much later did. So whatever standard uh, Yang Shoujong 
held in his practice, we could safely, I could, had, I could safely say uh, was the standard that was passed on by the family because there was no one else. And there's a, say, there's a, there's a saying uh, that the Chinese have it's called Yi Bo Chuan Ren, which means a cloak and bowl descendant come from Buddhism. But what it means in, in um, these practices of this, um, this era, how they used it was that uh, there was only one designated person who would get everything, the whole system. And um, uh, uh, without going into great detail, we could do this later, but uh, uh, Yang Shouzhong was the Yi Bo Chuan Ren, the cloak and bowl descendant of the Yang family tradition. And it, it shows in the video, uh, the workup in Chinese, uh, the uh, in, uh, introducer uh, mentions that this was the first time in 180 years or so that um, the original family uh, uh, system is being um, filmed. And uh, so they're, they're very aware of what they have in the family and what the rest of the world knows. And this begins to give, although again, there's much more discussion, especially if we want to break it down as a socio-cultural, even psychological phenomena of how the young family um, eventually, uh, uh, the actions they took and uh, where they are now, to where they are now, compared, for example, to the Chen, Chen Jiago, the Chen style, which, uh, has a very different, uh, played out very differently since 1949 um, in terms of uh, public support and recognition. So uh, the recluse nature, I'm not saying he was recluse, but the way he taught was very private and uh, very uh, selective. And uh, so that's the spirit. There was a secretiveness to it all. Uh, at the time, I didn't have a sense for why, but after that encounter, I, I got a, a very s strong hit as to why. Um, and it's because, in a nutshell, is because what the family, starting with Yang Luchan, cultivated was such an extraordinary skill or capability, power, if you want to call it that. Uh, that it really has ha has no rivals from what I've seen and I've and I'm a lineage holder of another tradition as well and I'll, I'll just might as well leak it out now but uh, Gong Bao Tian who was the last bodyguard of the Empress Dowager whose uh, life is part uh, is is referred to in um, uh, the hit movie uh, The Grand Master with Tony Leung and Jiang Zhiyi uh, Gong Er the second daughter was real she, there was a second daughter, or there was a, there was a not a first daughter, and she was the most proficient of the uh, Gong Bao Tian uh, Ba Gua Tren. So, uh, 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 speaking with Gong Bao Jai near the end of his life, he was in his 90s at the time, I remember, we had asked him about Taiji Tren and what Gong Bao Tian thought of it. And he said that uh, Gong Bao Jai mentioned that Gong Bao Tian had seen Taiji Tren in the palace, in the Imperial Palace, and we know Yang Luchan and Dong Hai Tren uh, met and knew each other from the Imperial Palace. Remember, the, the, the Imperial uh, family, they, they tried to gather the best of the best in China and recruit them into the palace. And in terms of uh, martial arts, it was very important because, of course, that was their security. So uh, let's just assume that what Gong Bao Tian, who Gong Bao Tian met was Yang Taiji Tren in the palace, or or any Taiji Tren for that matter. But what he said was that, um, and this, this took us back because for a while I didn't know what to do with the information. Here I am, devoted my whole life to be a lineage holder to Bagua Tren, a very famous fourth grade school, Siza Menpai, of uh, martial arts in China. Uh, Taiji Tren would, I guess, would be considered the, uh, the, uh, the third grade school. And then Xing Yi Tren in Shaolin uh, 
the second and first. And then if you want to um, use another categorization, uh, there might be six altogether, but you get the point, is that Bhagavatam was the latest to come through in 1850. That's when it first became public. But uh, Yang Luchan, and uh, his very important history, he he was born around 1800, and Dong Hai trained about uh, uh, 1799, so or reversed. So they were they were like born at the same age, and it took them 20, 30, 40, 50 years to become mature, and to codify their unique styles, and then they would meet at the Imperial Palace. So I'm painting a picture. To um, I I can't necessarily verify this, but let, let's let's allow our imaginations to run here as to the level at the time. So what Gombao Tian said, uh, told Gombao Jai was, uh, you know, and this this is the lineage holder of from Yin Fu, Yin Fu, and then Dong Hai Chen, third generation. He said, Tai Ji Chen Bi Bagua Chen Hai Shen Ho Yi Dian. So he said that Tai Ji Chen is a little bit more Shen Ho is profound. Or deep than Bhagavad Chen, and I, I, I could uh, speak volumes on that. This is not the right place to do it because I, I did get the whole or most of the Bhagavad Chen system. I got the essence of it. I feel uh, that I've put out in other work, um, non-martial arts work, because it wasn't really a, a martial art in that respect. Martial art was just the profession was one expression of it, and I believe when. Uh, uh, meeting Grandmaster Yang Shou Jung and seeing his way, the same thing. It was a martial art, no doubt. Uh, that was the context, that was the training. But there was <clears throat> an ability that they, cult they deliberately cultivated that went beyond martial arts. In fact, it was almost like tapping the essence of uh, Chinese civilization. It's what the Chinese, the Chinese Enlightenment, their take, the, the, the deep take on life, the way uh, humans fit in the scheme of things. All of this I, ex I experienced in that first uh, encounter. So we're sitting there at the table and uh, he was, um, I was to his left and he was facing away from me. So what I saw was his back and um, you know, the left side of his head and uh, all well, the small talk and uh, after, suddenly uh, he turned and with his left elbow on the table he um, turned toward me and uh, did like pang and he said uh, hey. Nama Tenji Hama, he said, How's the weather? And of course, it's already noontime, but he, something happened to me. Suddenly, in my midsection, it was all Luan Chi Batsao. I suddenly lost all uh, comprehension, ability to think, and to be in control of myself. He was applying his intent on me. Uh, many years later, uh, a Chinese uh, fellow I explained it and said that oh that's Jing uh, Xin Dong Dong Po which means you activate your heart and you move the Po the Po is the animus from the lung which is the animal body and it sent uh, uh, my my body my mind into confusion and uh, then he took, I, I started mouthing an answer don't remember what I said and then he turned away and he folded his hand back down out of the pang, ward off, and uh, I quieted down again. So that was the beginning of many things. Uh, so they asked me to come back in the evening for dinner. Very polite, you know, uh, clearly accommodating me. There was nothing that I was that would warrant uh, them to put out, except that I was a, a student of, only, and only a student, about five years or so. Of their disciple in, in uh, North America, so I came back in the evening, and we had a great um, uh, uh, dinner. Uh, and as John <laughs> uh, reminded me to pay attention to everything, he had 
he used uh, silver chopsticks. And that, they were his specifically, I know. Uh, they served two soups. Uh, one was a fish head soup. So they were really into nutrition. And we know that in terms of the training, that to do that power training, you have to be, you, you, you're like an athlete, essentially. And you've got to eat really well. And they knew how to eat well. I think they had a cook, actually. Uh, so um, about to wrap it up, uh, it was just a great meeting. I, I had zero expectations, zero sense that I was anything important because I wasn't. Um, and uh, just before I left, the, the three daughters um, said, uh, Baba, ni jiao tai dian ba. So just as I was leaving, the daughters chimed in, Hey, Dad, why don't you teach them something? So that turned into a 90 minute extension of, of my visit. And what I, what I received, but also witnessed, observed, was what warranted uh, uh, my, the title of my videos, which is um, uh, what your young teacher uh, instructor uh, cannot teach you or share with you. And that is this direct experience of Yang Shoujung. But not only that, because there are people who, disciples and students, who have paid for uh, 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 lessons at a very high premium. And uh, it was almost like, uh, I remember uh, hearing that uh, at some point he was charging $70 for, to touch him for 30 seconds. It was, so there was a commoditizing of the skill, which we can get into later as to why. Let's not pass any judgment on it as if greedy or what have you. No, you know, these are very intelligent people and they knew what their worth was. And um, so just leave it at that for now. But what I experienced, and I just know this because I know the disciples, I know his disciples, I know the ones who have followed, who've, who've become lineage holders and have had to pay huge money, is that that uh, relationship it's extremely contained, extremely controlled in what uh, exposure the, the seeker, the student, gets. Uh, and what I experienced was a completely free family style as if I was part of the family. And the reason being because how spontaneous it was, and I think, this is on hindsight, I think one reason he was so open because he did four, he gave me corrections, uh, push hands, applications. Uh, I, I saw um, him moving around as if he's, you know, by himself, you know, the way you're relaxed in your family, doing techniques, and I'm just, you know, uh, flabbergasted, but I have good memory, body memory of these things. And um, uh, uh, that, they, they just are not able to conduct themselves when there's a formal money relationship or what's called a power. I, I was not a powerful person. But, uh, there was, I didn't have that ambition. I was, I think, too young and naive to be thinking in those terms. Um, but what he, uh, so that they, you know, they made comments about me, that they saw my form, made corrections. So I'm going, first, the first thing in my mind is, well, wait a minute, why is this different? Okay. So that began to give me an idea that I know now that that the form, the original, now it's the original, and let's not include uh, uh, da jia, xiao jia, big or small, or snake style, crane style. Let's just, you know, one form, several, a number of corrections to drill your power completely into the ground, which is the source of this amazing not it's not even strength but we have to call it that or power we don't it's not it's more than power uh that i will get i have to wait to get into later because we need to build the bridge um so uh that was uh, uh i experienced the family in their freeway uh, uh the daughter came up the train the mother the wife it did stuff with me. It's like, wow, this is really uh, special. And I didn't recognize how special it was because my life was so full. I was in graduate school and doing all you know other 
loyal to another system and battling uh, whether I should recluse or not because of another Chinese uh, uh, spiritual ninjas that told me I need to renounce the world. All this confusion in my 20s into my 30s, um, which, which attributed to the delay in settling down and so forth. So it's taken me all these years to assimilate. And, but what I did see was that um, there was a, uh, how, how should I say this? Uh, let, me, let me think for a second here. Oh, that's right. Uh, what I surmise is that uh, uh, being in such good shape and having won a full contact tournament in New England where um, it became publicized in, in even the Chinese newspapers that Taiji Chuan can fight. So I think it might have brought glory to the family. Uh, they never mentioned it. Uh, or that I was simply someone who had the right kind of training for him to play off if he had no sons. And maybe it was just fun for him to be doing all these things with me because you know, I didn't collapse. Uh, I was of their, uh, of their um, cloth. And um, uh, on several occasions, uh, he, he, uh, his techniques had more than just a physical effect. They stopped my mind. They, they pulled um, my energies here and there without touching. And, and I, you know, I, I was a fighter, so I wasn't just someone who was looking for energy. I was really into fighting. But just the way his, the energy was, uh, the, 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 the field that he had around him and his gestures, which I'll go into later. Uh, what, what I, what I want to uh, uh, leave you with uh, now is, uh, uh, remember every, every video I want to leave uh, a lesson that's going to be building on each other is uh, a couple observations about him. One is that he moved, you know, you, 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 you think of softness and evenness. And um, of course, he represented the, the standard of, of how to do that. But uh, it, was, um, it was very soft, yet there was structure to it. Uh, it was almost like um, when he moved, it was like there was a hydraulic nature to the, to it from the inside, uh, yet it was so graceful. And if you look at the form, uh, uh, his form on on uh, uh, online online, you'll see that um, it's very compact and very efficient. So uh, uh, the the movements were like. Uh, almost like floating as if as if when he moved on the on the floor he was light and there was like there was like a, a gliding and here's a 70 year old man and the focus was like a tiger it was frankly frightening just ha have him focus on you again it's not physical uh, and uh, so when I mentioned softness in the uh, previous video, I'm going to add a little more to that about his hand. His wrists, I hope you can see this, were caught. The palm was open and the fingers naturally open like that. And when he, when he pulled back, let's say, in, um, uh, after uh, uh, G, press forward to on, um, you see, you know, on, on YouTube, hundreds of different ways of transitioning from G to An. But his way, uh, in general, the the family taught very linear. It's very linear. There were it was square, and it didn't have all the the I would call it aesthetic quality that makes you feel so good when you flow and let let yourself sort of abandon to the flow and the chi feeling in Taiji Tren. This was extremely um, regulated. And then when he came out, it was straight.
both ha both the hands came straight out very linear but so when I mentioned you've got to do it supremely softly I meant that but in terms of the look of the young form it looks structured so that's the first thing I I, uh, I think uh, to look at is how do you be Mian Tren, how, how do you practice in such a light and cotton way but not uh, not uh, show it because it looks linear and very technical and if you look at the form just um, uh, I, I'm I'm going to teach uh, you know the advanced Yang Lu Chan to Yang Shou Zhong corrections uh, I'm not going to use my own form why why would I desecrate the system uh, when Yang Shou Zhong's form is there I'm going to teach from his form maybe I'll, I'll be the only one who's doing that but but there's no need it would, it would actually be misleading for me to teach my interpretation no matter how many years of experience I had so uh, that's that's to give you a preview of, of where we're going with this is that you all have his form available to watch as many times as you want and I'll add insights into it in fact uh, uh, in preparation to, to uh, share uh, I, I've created uh, 21 insights seven have to do with uh, pushing hands and uh, application seven have to do with uh, qualities of the external form his form like uh, for example uh, taking some of the principles but maybe interpreting it in, a, in ways that are different from how it's how the classics are interpreted uh, in order to reveal uh, hidden things that they actually uh, uh, knew about and practiced but uh, let the public think another, another way about and then the third which holds the deepest insights are, are the is the inner practice which is uh, where this is all leading uh, and but it, and it's it's finally in the inner practice where you understand how um, it's possible to to train in a soft manner but to develop this uh, uh, devastating physical ability uh, that could be used for healing as well as for martial purposes but the the only way to do that and I think this is where even senior practitioners and teachers could benefit from hearing about is that that can't be the end there was another thing that he practiced and that is uh, uh, that's where we, we begin to get a sense for oh man uh, Yang Lu Chan in his brilliance he, 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 he recovered or he captured an essence of the the spirit uh, or, or the some of the deepest in enlightenments of Chinese culture through history he had he had recaptured it and bottled it into his interpretation of Taiji Chen and it's different from Chen so that again like I said in the last video we're gonna have to enter into that discussion so um, uh, the way his hand moved and his body moved uh, he was 70 years old but he glided and and encountering his his Jing his energy uh, it was it was like a wave picking you up there wasn't even a feeling of contact and it wasn't because you know he was able to lead me and you know like like a good Aikido or Judo you know technique no no this is uh, just a field that just overtook and swept and 
this, if you can imagine, is uh, one of the reasons for the family being secretive and not coming public because it would run cross grain with uh, the standards set by other teachers, prominent teachers. And uh, being traditional Chinese and polite uh, and face, uh, concerned about face, they did not want to make anybody lose face. And I, you saw that in, uh, I forget his name at the moment, but uh, uh, there was the uh, chairman of the Hong Kong Yang Tai Chi Association who had an honorary uh, discipleship from Yang Shou Zhong. He taught for many years, just passed on. But if you look at his form, I'm just being objective here. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, passing judgment. We're just objectively comparing his form and his weapons and so forth that uh, he's widely filmed in the parks of Hong Kong over the years. And compared to Yang Shou Zhong's, why so different? Again, or even some of his disciples, why so different? So, um, in order to establish this basis, uh, we have to start to think critically and objectively and to let go of all uh, attachments uh, to uh, ego attachments. Because what we want, we need to get to the bottom of uh, the practice. So again, I, I very much thank you for uh, your time this morning. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, share it with your friends, and let, let's start building this community. Okay, this is Dr. Mike Yuan. Over now.